About two weeks after the coronation, on the 15th of June 1953, and nine years after the biggest armada in history had left these shores for Normandy on D-Day, there was a review of the fleet in the Solent when Her Majesty boarded HMS Surprise, a Bay-class frigate which was adapted to act as a royal yacht because HMS Britannia had not yet been completed. A ship which caused a lot of interest was the Russian cruiser Sverdlov, and this was due to the mysterious and secretive Iron Curtain. The other interesting ship was the Italian tall-masted vessel Amerigo Vespucci, a type rarely seen in the Solent since the 19th century. From these photos, you can see the covered viewing platform which had been built in front of the bridge on HMS Surprise for the Queen and other members of the royal family. Some of the many ships represented were the aircraft carriers HMS Eagle and Indomitable, cruisers, destroyers, frigates, submarines, fast patrol boats and ships from other nations such as Australia, Canada and the United States. There was only one battleship present at the review, and that was HMS Vanguard. The rest, which unlike Vanguard had seen service in the Second World War, such as HMS Warspite and HMS Ramillies, were decommissioned and sent to the breakers yards after the war had finished. The 1953 review was impressive in that there were so many British ships in the Solon, but due to reductions in the size of the Navy, subsequent reviews have had to rely heavily on ships from other nations to swell the numbers present. The review ended with a flypast of many types of propeller-driven and jet aircraft used by the Navy, including this group of Westland Dragonfly helicopters. <laughs> <laughs>